You know, uh, you know the Cathedral Quartet, most of you. So uh, you're looking at a, and you just heard him sing. Uh, you're looking at a new face. I, I was going to sing a few songs before I in, really introduced this young. I can't wait for you to hear this young man sing. Ernie Haas is his name, and he's from Evansville, Indiana. 25, year, 25 years old. I got socks older than that, you know. <laughs> I think he's got them on tonight. No, I ain't got. I ain't got. <laughs> you know, somebody was talk. Somebody was talking about my boots and I, the, with this black suit, and I thought I had black boots on. I've had these black boots so long they corroded on me. <laughs> but uh, I want you to listen, Ernie. The last few weeks has blessed our heart with this song. This is an old song that, uh, in fact, Marvin P. Dalton wrote right. this song. Right. And when was it, Glenn, he brought it to you? 1948. 1948, Marvin brought this song to Glenn on manuscript. And of course, that's nothing unusual. Glenn saw Amazing Grace on manuscript. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Good, George. <laughs> Somebody asked me just for this program how old Glenn was. I said, when Glenn was a little boy, the Big Dipper was just a cut back in them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good, ain't I, boy? I'm doing, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> let me let you listen to Ernie Haas sing a song. I'm going to take an old song, and maybe after he sings this song, maybe you'd like to welcome Ernie not only to here but to the Cathedral Quartet. Listen as Ernie sings, Oh, What a Savior. <laughs> I'm 
going to be here till one or two o'clock anyhow in the morning. <laughs> Tell you what, Ernie, come around and, and, and share a word of testimony, whatever you have on your heart tonight, and back up and, and, and sing that second verse for me. I'm about to have a spell over here. <laughs> uh, I'm just amazed at tonight at how God can be so good to one person in one lifetime as he has me. Yeah, I mean, I'm so happy and and so thrilled just to serve the Lord. I mean, I'm happier now when I'm not happy than when I was before I was saved, when I was considerably happy. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I understand that. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying what I'm trying to say, folks, that the joy of the Lord is definitely your strength. Yeah. And I thank Him for His love. I thank Him for His joy. And even though it's unspeakable and full of glory, I thank the Lord that He says He has revealed it to us. By his spirit. I mean, I'm getting to do what I've always wanted to do. At the age of 15 years old, I prayed and asked God, and someday let me sing with the Cathedral Quartet. And Ten years later, here I am, living out a dream, singing with my favorite quartet across the country. Oh, oh preach on, brother. I think. <laughs> He's getting good now. <laughs> Telling people about Jesus and then singing in front of people that are so kind and tenderhearted and loving as yourself. It amazes me to be able to do that. And it also amazes me tonight to be able to sing about a holy God. And I thank him for that opportunity. Just chilling, chilling, waters. I'll soon be crossing Oh, but his hand, his hand's gonna leave. Oh, <laughs> 
God. You know what, Ernie? If, 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 if I'd have been going to sing that song, I'd have sung it just like that right there. <laughs> ah, the young man thrills us. I tell you what, while we're doing old song, that's an old song. Glenn Payne, on this new album, dug an old song out that he sang many years ago. And, uh, in fact, let me tell you this. Now, you shared enough already. <laughs> His wife told me this just a few days ago, that uh, they were, just before they went to bed, well, Van took a couple of pills, and Glenn said, what are you taking them pills for? And she said, well, they just seem to make me feel younger. And she went on to bed, and after she went to bed, Glenn just took the whole bottle. <laughs> and the next morning, she woke up early, but Glenn wasn't in the bed, and she went to the kitchen where you make coffee. He wasn't there, wasn't in the living room. She looked, and he was sitting out on the street on the curb. And she said, Glenn, what are you doing out there? He said, waiting on the school bus. <laughs> <laughs> so, 